hi everyone hope everyone's doing well today i'm going to share how i have decorated my small bedroom in an affordable way also i'm going to share some diy tips and ideas to bring some extra glamour in your room before that i would like to let you know that i have done this blog in two different languages bangla and english so please choose your preferred vlog so let's get started before the decoration the first thing i think about is the color i like um, white light or neutral colors they are my personal favorite because they are very welcoming has a calming effect on your mood also what white does it always makes your room visually bigger and then i like adding a little touch of other colors with blankets or um, duvet cover or with some accessories and then the furniture it's really important that you choose the right furniture for the room considering the layout of the room because if you buy too big furniture than your room then it's not going to be very helpful also it can't be smaller than your necessity so you have to um, choose your furniture very wisely and also it is important that you put the furniture in the right place of your room otherwise you can't effectively use your bedroom it's not going to be very comfortable to use so now i'm going to show you before i enter into the room the first thing that catch my eyes is the wallpaper i bought this wallpaper from ebay and me and my husband we put we both have done the diy together and the reason i didn't put the wallpaper be, be, behind my headboard of the bed is because that wall was taken by the wardrobe i didn't want to hide my beautiful wallpaper behind my uh, wardrobe so i decided to put it on this wall and it worked really well it looks really nice i have matched this wall um clock as well they both go really well together so because i have put the wallpaper opposite of my wardrobe so what it does my wardrobe has really big mirrors so it reflects on my mirrors really really nicely it makes the room really bigger and very elegant and gorgeous so i'm very happy about it Coming onto this side of this room, I bought this beautiful Islamic wall frame from an Islamic shop in Bradford. It's called Rolex. So it says there, La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah. It means there is only one God but Allah. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam is the messenger of Allah. I love how beautifully written the writing is. And I love this frame. A few days ago, I broke it while cleaning it and then I fixed it again this bed frame i bought from my local showroom it's very simple but very modern and contemporary and it's a storage bed i always consider investing in storage bed because it's very helpful i can put lots of stuff there it's very spacious with the bedding bedding doesn't have to be very basic you can always add little bit layer details and texture to create your own style. I bought this cushion from IKEA and uh, and then I made this beautiful cushion cover with my chosen material and colors. On my next vlog, I'm going to show you how I made them. This is a rose gold glitter cushion cover. I love this one. And this beautiful small cute cushion I made um out of my daughter's bumper cot bed it was lying down in my cupboard so i thought i'll make something out of it so i rolled it and then i covered it with the michael kors courtesy bag which i got from with my michael kors bag of course so it's on my budget as well i made it out of free with my weeds it's really lovely i love how i have done the diy there this lovely duvet cover i bought from argos with duvet cover it has to be white again or light colors and it has to be cotton and linen this lovely um three shades of grays and white color made this duvet cover really extra elegant this cotton blush pink um, blanket sorry blanket uh, i bought from range this is really soft and fluffy very comfortable and it's really big in size i bought this shade from primark this is a lovely gray color which gray color which goes really well with my duvet cover so i put it there because it's summer you never know when you need it 
You can't tell when it's cold, when it's hot. So I kept it there in case I need. Coming on to the accessories, I bought this lovely blush pink candle from Primark and then I add a little detail to bring some extra glamour. I made this one out of my necklace. I added the jewel um, with hot glue which looks really nice and I bought this candle holder and candle from Poundland and this tray I bought from Home Bargain to use it on the sofa or on the bed. And lights, I love lots of lights, so I put it everywhere, wherever I want, sometimes on the bed frame or on the wall frame. Today I decided to put it on the side of the wall. I hanged it from the, um, from the carton, carton pole to the uh, headboard of the bed. So it worked really well, it looked really nice. And the carton, with carton I always going for dark colours because dark colours block the sunlight from entering the room especially in the summer uh, when you get the sunlight 4am in the morning so it really helps in the summer that's why I always prefer getting dark colours cartoons and this cartoon I bought from Amazon this is really soft it has a little bit velvety look and really nice texture in it it's very slim and lightweight Another thing, choosing the cartoon color, is the it's really important to go one shade darker or lighter than the wallpaper, then it looks really good. So my cartoon is two shades darker than my wall color, so it suits the best. This cartoon swags, uh, I've done a little DIY there. So I bought this gray one from eBay. This is really nice. It has thread work and jewel on the border. So after, I, after buying this, I realized that this is too small for my car window because I didn't check the measurement. So then I made this um, sea blue swag matching with that one. This bold color go very well. I bought two, um, um, made two of them. So three of them covered my car, uh, window very well. And these colors go very well together. And this uh, carton tie bag, uh, because uh, my carton is very slim, so I didn't use it for that, so I added it with the swag. And this is this hanging uh, carton um, candle holder I bought from Home Bargain again. I bought it for my daughter's for my daughter's room. They didn't take it because they changed the room color. And so I decided to keep it in my room because I really love it. Although this purple color doesn't go with my room. But still pink and purple, they are in the same family. So I didn't mind keeping it in my room. I love it. It's really pretty. And especially when you put the candle there in the night, it looks really gorgeous. My wardrobe, I bought from my... A local showroom it's really big i love those big mirrors although it's really hard to clean i mean keeping it clean especially when you have children this chest drawer i bought from ikea it was for my daughter's room they don't need it anymore so i kept it here until i buy a dresser for this space and then i have added this beautiful glitter self-adhesive paper which I bought from Wilkinson to bring some nice look and it looks way better than before. This candle is from Home Bargain. With toiletries, there's nothing to talk about it because everybody has their own preference. Let me show you this little DIY I have done here. This mirror I bought from Poundland and then I have added this nice um, gorgeous lace around it with hot glue. It looks really nice now. This flower vase, shiny grey, gorgeous flower vase, my husband bought from Sainsbury. And then I got those beautiful blush pink flower from Home Bargain. They look really cute together. Live the life you love. Again, it's from Poundland. I love shopping at Poundland. Here you go. That's the way I have decorated my room. I love the way I have designed it. I love the way I have styled it. I love the way I have done some DIYs to make it look 
gorgeous. After long activities, it's really important that you come into a well-decorated, neat and tidy room. You have to have your comfort zone here for a healthy sleeping to reduce the stress of the day. And for decorations, not necessary that you have to spend a lot of money all the time. If you make your budget and use your money wisely, then easily you can create something like this for yourself. If you have liked my blog, if you have liked the way I have decorated it, please comment below, like, share and subscribe. That's it for today. I will see you soon. Till then, everyone take care. Bye.